Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brandon Kemmerman. Kendall Barley is on assignment. Well, for the entire month of October, KVAL has been a proud sponsor of the American Cancer Society's Men Wear Pink campaign, raising funds for breast cancer research and awareness. Tonight, we are sharing the story of Wendy Poland, who has worked at the Springfield Police Department for nine years. But in July of 2022, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. That's when her SPD team kicked in to give to her what she has always given back to them. I had longer hair and it kind of started coming out in clumps on this side and I kept trying to cover it up and you know just make it look somewhat decent and so one of our co-workers said honey it's time. Every month or so Wendy Poland has her head shaved by Springfield Police Sergeant Kyle Potter. It's kind of fun for everybody and it's like oh, I'm gonna walk upstairs and cut Wendy's hair. <laughs> had a little bond between he and I because he'll tell me when it's time. Time is what matters for Wendy. I still think, you know, am I going to die next year? Am I going to die? You know. Time to fight. There are some days where you don't really want to get up and around, and I um, just force myself. And time to get your mammogram. I hadn't had a mammogram in 10 years. Until last year, Wendy's sister made an appointment for her, an appointment that changed her life. He did a biopsy and said, I'm pretty sure it's cancer. The mammogram led to an ultrasound, then a biopsy, and then a diagnosis. I was a stage 2B, so it was in my lymph nodes. And that led to surgeries and radiation and all sorts of medicine and procedures that are still ongoing. I remember saying to my surgeon, um, what do I do now? And she goes, honey, you don't have to do anything. We'll take it from here. Wendy praises her doctors, but the fight is still hard. People will go, oh, you're a warrior. And I'll think, I'm not a warrior. I'm scared. But you really have to dig deep and fight it and I don't have a I don't have a choice. So she fights through those difficult moments. Kind of having to look in the mirror and see that you look different and you're not that same person that you were you know the night before or even um, you know your body looks different and you're now you know now, now I look different with my hair missing and so those moments are tough to adapt to. But when she gets lonely her support system kicks in. I really have to depend on people now. Even her son Tate who was a Eugene police officer, but put in for a transfer to Springfield so he could be part of the family. He goes, I want to be a part of your family. I want to be a part of that team. He joined the Springfield Police Department in May. Her colleagues will mow her grass or bring her meals or cut her hair. It makes me want to be a better person because you see so much kindness and so much dedication to your friendship. All for a life worth living. In Springfield, I'm Brandon Cameron. Wendy says her sister teases her, saying she owes her her life after scheduling the mammogram that discovered the cancer. Wendy has about two more years of treatment and constant blood tests and doctor visits. Meanwhile, she keeps working and keeps living. Once again, throughout the month of October, KVAL News is joining forces with the American Cancer Society to raise money for breast cancer research and awareness. I'm one of 21 local men wear pink ambassadors we're all working to raise money for ACS, so you can scan that QR code on your screen. That'll take you to the Men Wear Pink page where you can donate. Go to kval.com for more information.